Hello, I am the Zombie J. I said I would have another video out for y'all today after those two reviews, mock reviews. Yay! <laughs> that sounded terrible, I'm sorry. Um, well, I wanted to review, well, it's not a review. <laughs> this is not a review, but it is kind of a review. I mean, it's talking about the Kordak Blaster. This is a loaded one that I found that I... I knew what had, but the other day I was kind of, you know, being quick about the getting the stuff for the video. So yesterday I talked about the Ninra Ghost Blaster by itself because I couldn't find it. <laughs> and yesterday I also found the other version of that one too. Well, well, what the different pump thing. Well, yesterday while I was building those two mocks, came across this. This thing is cool looking. <laughs> That's all it is. It's cool looking. Uh, it's got a six barrel. This is basically the Bionicle six shooter type of thing, and it looks kind of cool. I mean, the barrels kind of remind me of this thing called a Nebelwerfer, if you've ever heard of that. Um, but other than that, I mean, it's got these lines here and there. It's got six barrels. In the center, it looks like a uh, where you could plug a stud into. But you can't fit anything in there, um, as far as I'm concerned. Hmm, maybe this. Hey, 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 a Playmobil weapon can fit in there. Uh, very tightly, though, which is not good, but hey. Playmobil weapons are stupid. I don't even like Playmobil. I didn't grow up with Playmobil, honestly, because I prefer Legos. So, so you got these two platforms right here that you can hold on to. Uh, be it under or over. I recommend under because, yeah. Um, and it has this uh, spring-loaded plunger thing that um, has the spring in it. And there is a, um, a turning thing um, in here that, you know, you, you push on it, the barrels turn. And um, this is fun. This is interesting. So, this is a big silver uh, piece of ABS plastic. Um, not sure what kind of silver. There's definitely some grooves cut into it. There's definitely some interesting uh, design choices. And there's also a bit of a grip on this back end of the plunger so that, you know, thing is, it might rub your finger raw or your thumb raw if you uh, <laughs> constantly do this. Yeah, that's kind of uh, stupid. Uh, <laughs> Um, there is a uh, axle hole right there for Toa Mari to hold on to it. It's also used in this way uh, as part of Hydraxon's wrist cannon, basically. Um, and it was also used in the playsets, I think. Two of them, maybe? For Maxilos, it was actually shoulder mounted. Like on this shoulder, I think. Um, and it had the ball joint on on it in a uh, ball socket and then it rotates the problem with the ball joints is that they always get sheared off well this one was just sheared clean off and it's gone I, 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 I've never had one of these throughout the original ones I've had that the ball joint was just always there uh, it always broke uh, it, there's no getting around it. In fact, I once took Jaller Mari to school one day. He was in my backpack with the Hana Crab and this thing attached to the Hana Crab. Which I do still have, actually. And I wanted to check on the set to make sure it wasn't broken. Turns out the ball joint was sheared off. Oh no! That upset me. I was like, ah, oh, why? <laughs> Basically. Uh, it can be glued back on, sure. You just use Gorilla Glue, if you will. But still, it's stupid. Honestly, it looks better without the, the uh, ball joint, but you still have that bit of plastic there. So, I guess just sand that down or something. I don't fucking know. So... Basically, you're left with 
this attachment, and that's fine, I guess. My problem with the Toamari's use of these uh, blasters is, well, only a few of them actually hold them correctly. Uh, Holly holds it like this with the axle. Uh, Jawler actually holds it, well, in the animation he hold it, held it like this, and the Hana crab was on his back. What the crap, ghost? In the set, obviously, you know, he holds it by a chain attached to his hand, which extends and attaches to this, and this, via the ball joint, is attached to the Hana crab. Crab with a gun, basically, which is weird. Yaparo Mari holds it like this. <laughs> Makes it look like that. It's like, what? Uh, Hooky holds it wrong. He has no, what, left, right hand? He has no right hand. Instead, it's just mounted to his, to his internal of his arm, and um, he has no right hand. What the crap? This is bullshit. It's weird. I don't get it. Um, maybe it's a part-saving thing, money-saving thing, most likely. Uh, Matoro holds it. I guess in the same way as uh, Niparu does, but with Niparu it actually makes more sense to where with, um, I mean, he holds it, obviously, you know, like this, but it's just weird. Kongu has two of these damn things. Why does he need to? You couldn't have been even more creative. You had to give him two guns. That is just what the fuck. Kongu needed two blasters, and why? Uh, why? Explain to this. What is the storyline reason for this? What is Lego's reason for this? Probably to save costs. How much do you think one Kordak blaster takes to build, or takes to like how much cost? How much money does it take to make one of one of these? Explain to me this in the comment section below. It's absolute fucking bullshit. Seriously. So the Kordak Blaster fires these. Kordaks. Named, of course, after the Toa Kordak, which is a group. Apparently, uh, Lasovic was from. These are little bullets. Little darts of some sort, I think that's what they're officially calling. Yes, they have problems. Um, this is a piece that actually can be used in mocks. I've seen it on, uh, what was it, Callan's self mock. Um, it can be used, sure, but it does have this little uh, pin um, uh, lightsaber rod sort of thing that, uh, that can work, obviously. Can it work in the middle of the thing? Eh. Loosely, but basically this goes in the barrel. Now, obviously, these are made of some kind of uh, flexible material. I'd say polypropylene, and they're loaded. The weapon is loaded, and there you go. And when you see this staring at you, <laughs> yeah, um, that's going to probably sting. Let's try it. Now. When it comes to firing this thing, you have to hold it like this, or, you know, like this. That looks stupid. Hold it like this, because then you can see through the thing. Not really. It's not supposed to be a sight or anything. But yeah, basically, you hold it like this, and you, uh, you have to push the plunger thing. You have to push it, and, well, yeah, you push it, and it fires the dart, one of the darts, and then it rotates the barrel. That's pretty cool. But, notice none of the darts are going out. Why? Well, because he didn't, uh, well, because I didn't uh, push it hard enough, so. Yeah. So, basically, you have to push it with absolute force. Oh my god. I'm not even gonna. Just, no. No sexual references, please. Um. You gotta do this. And that one went missing, so yeah. Basically, you gotta force it. 
And yeah, one misfired, see? So that's three Kordax out of the blaster. You can see that one of them skipped apparently. So we're gonna try this again on that computer screen. Oh. It is actually quite fun to shoot these damn things, but the Kordax can get lost, and this is true with all ammo types with these projectile firing blasters from LEGO Bionicle. What's even worse is that there's a modern version of this called, well there was, and I think it's still being used, and it's called the uh, Stud Shooter, oh there it is, <clears throat> got all six of them, good. It's called a stud shooter. It's basically a six barreled thing that you plug six fucking uh, studs, one by one studs. Either solid colors or, you know, translucent colors. And basically you have to turn, well, depending on the build, like with the Bionicle G2 protector of fire, for example, with this shoulder mounted gun. You have to turn this gear and and Basically, all your studs go flying and probably get lost. Or, uh, yeah. <laughs> so, it is definitely not as cool as a uh, as the Kordak Blaster. So, these Kordak. What the what the fuck does Kordak even mean? Is there a Matoran language meaning behind the word uh, Kordak? Let me know in the comment section below. I don't fucking feel like looking it up. Let's load it up. One, two, three, four, five, six. And just for good measure. Yeah. <laughs> this is a pretty fun little thing. Um, now, when you are doing the firing thing, you know, and I can notice, it is very noticeable, on the plunger itself, the red thing, you can see scratches and scrapes and scuffs, and that's from overuse. This thing was probably overused to oblivion. And it is quite a sight to behold. This is definitely not something you want to play with long term, um, but it is quite fun to seeing these little tiny darts flying. And thus, we're gonna try that over there. Here we go. Wow. <laughs> Empty. So that's six Kordax gone. <laughs> and some of them are probably lost. <laughs> I mean, come on. These things are easily losable, and that's not a good thing. I don't have any extras on hand, but probably in, well, my drawers. Uh, the plastic drawers thing. But the Kordak Blaster. Now there is a fun thing you can do with this, actually. Fill up your uh, kitchen sink, I guess we will say, with water. Take one of these things, one of these, empty, dunk it into the water, push the thing, let it fill up with water, then pull it out, and you basically be shooting water. <laughs> water gushing forth from this thing. It turns into like a water gun, basically, and that's pretty fucking cool. Trust me, I've tried it. Uh. So yeah, the Kordak Blaster, an interesting, well definitely something better than what we got with the Baraki in there. Absolute fucking trash squid launchers. Seriously, I can't get them to fire uh, even once, completely fucking straight. Someone else was able to do it, probably, and do it 
phenomenally well. I can't do it. I mean, I tried when I was recording for this, um, for that, uh, that projectile launchers video. Um, and it did hit my computer screen, so it is possible. But it still balls. It still sucks. A massive load and why Lego had the audacity to give Godonka and Karzani those uh, blasters when they don't need them? Karzani could just use his fucking chains to strangle the two Matoran that come with the fucking set. And Godunka is a monster. He can use his claws to claw people. He can use his jaws to bite their heads off. It makes no sense why those two sets had the squid launchers. And also, also, I've said this before, but also, there was a little promotional set. I don't remember the set number. I don't think it even had a name. But it was basically a tiny little crab-like thing. It used paraka feet for its uh, legs, kind of, and has some Technic bits and bobs, and I think as well as some Borak eyes. I never built it. But it uses a full fucking squid launcher as like its top shell thing, and it shoots the squids. What? The fuck? That is absolute bullshit. You can't put a squid launcher on what's essentially a Rahi and expect to be taken seriously. Yeah, I know Gadunka is also a Rahi, but... <laughs> what the fuck? Gadunka doesn't need the squid launcher, and neither does Karzani. Like I said, Karzani can strangle the two Matoran that come with the set with his chains. <sighs> I guess they needed an excuse to, some kind of excuse to put some kind of a projectile shooting weapon with these two sets. With the little promotional set, there's no excuse! Except to bump up the price cost or whatever, the, the parts number. <sighs> I don't think that set was even released, because that was one of the few uh, sets that was never actually released, but people have s somehow built them with parts that they had in their collection, which is pretty cool. I've, I've, I've done that with one of the good guys, as well as, uh, well, one of the Rahi from the... Um, from, uh, <laughs> from the, oh god, what's that called? What is it called? It's called, uh, from the Mari Nui, uh, saga, from, yeah, it was, a uh, Black Rahi of some sort with these pincer, uh, Mantax pincers on either side, he uses, has a tail, uh, has Borok feet, and it, basically, it shoots Zammers out of its chest cavity. Well, that's creative, to an extent. I guess it kind of makes sense, maybe. Doesn't make sense with the squid launching crab thing. Ugh. Well, anyway. Kordak Blasters, you love them or you hate them? Let me know in the comment section below what you think of this thing. And, well, how many Kordaks have you lost? How many Kordaks have you... I'm not going to go there. <laughs> and really, is this the best that LEGO could offer us in terms of firing uh, projectiles out of a weapon for a Bionicle set? These are fun. I took one of these apart actually once. You know, I had to dissect it, but still, it was pretty cool. I hope you all enjoyed this video. I'll be back with another one. Stay tuned. I am the Zombie J. I'll see you folks there. Have a good fucking day and peace.